I've tried seven different ice baths over the past few years, and today I'm gonna to share what I've learned and which one I think could be best for you. We've all been hearing ice baths increase dopamine by 2.5x increase in dopamine that lasts for several hours. They make your mood better. They're great for recovery, but actually executing on having an ice bath in your home is a bit of a complex process. And I've been testing a variety of different options. We'll start from the cheapest and easiest and work our way up. The first one's your bathtub. That's easy if you have one at your home. You can go to the grocery store, buy a whole bunch of ice. It is a lot of ice. I usually try to buy 50 to 80 pounds. Fill up your bathtub, put in the ice, and now you have an ice bath. The only issue is the ice will melt and now you don't have an ice bath. So this is, can only be used in like certain scenarios every once in a while. And depending on where you live, Ice can be kind of expensive. I think I've paid around like $70 once for 80 pounds of ice in New York City. That's the case. Sometimes you can just buy a pass to a place that might have a commercial ice bath. Now, what if you don't have a bathtub or your bathtub is too small? You can buy these like foldable tubs and put it in the bathtub or in your kitchen or somewhere where you can fill it with water safely and it's not gonna get things around it wet. Then buy ice and fill that up. You just need to make sure there's a hose nearby to fill that up with water. And then you have to be able to transport the ice to the foldable tub. And then once you're done with the ice bath, you need to find a way to dispose of the water and make sure you're not making a mess mess. Where with a bathtub, you know you have a drain, so that part is easier. What if you want something that's a little bit more dedicated? You could also buy these Rubbermaid buckets or these metal troughs, or you can buy an inflatable ice bath. There's ones that are really strong that use like the stand-up paddleboard material, and these three options are very sturdy. You can place them in your backyard, your garage, or anywhere where you want it to be a little more static, and fill this with water and ice. It might not stay cold for very long, but it allows you to have a space where you can put this object, fill it with water, have ice, do your ice bath, and then maybe when it warms up, you just go buy more ice. Or if you can get an ice machine, you can consistently and then be able to fill that up with more ice. And if you do plan to buy any of these things, I'll have links and codes below. If you click any of those links before purchasing, it helps support the channel and I really appreciate you. I do have two solutions for keeping the water cold in all of these options. The first, you can buy one of these wagons and be able to carry all the ice from the grocery store to your tub. But that can be expensive. Each ice bath will add up and that's another time consuming process. If you're willing to invest in a little bit more money, you can get one of these water coolers. I went ahead and bought a water cooler, a whole bunch of tubing, aquarium water pump, a pump strainer and hose clamps. And this entire system will allow you to plug in two different hoses into any tub and actually keep the water cool over time. Depending on how often you plan to do your ice bath, like that can add up, right? If you're spending $50 on ice for each ice bath and you're doing that once a week, that's $200 a month. If you do that for five months, that's $1,000. This whole do-it-yourself setup can cost you around $1,000. But then you run into the challenges of how long is that water cooler going to work for? What if the water gets dirty? How do you keep it clean? There's a great Facebook group that talks about keeping water clean, using aquarium pump cleaning devices, ozone generators. I recommend and go checking that out. Which leads me into the next DIY option, which is a chest freezer. This is my very first ice bath that I built. I bought a chest freezer from Best Buy. They shipped it and brought it to my house. And then I bought an ozone generator to keep the water clean. I bought an aquarium pump to always keep the water moving. And then I bought a smart thermometer so that way the chest freezer would turn on and off when it hit a certain temperature point. Now the chest freezer is essentially replacing that water cooler, but you can mix and match all these components depending on what type of tub do you want, what type of cooling device do you want, and what type of cleaning slash moving the water around device do you want. But all of these I would say are DIY. They might not look pretty, they work, and there's no warranty. And if something goes wrong, you're gonna have to figure out how to fix it. So there is a larger time investment on your part. But if you're willing to spend less money and spend more time kind of figuring it out and fixing it, this is a good option. But we can transition into the next tier, which is the ice barrel. This ice bath I really like because it's vertical. It's easier to put into smaller spaces and it looks cool. So if you're trying to get like nice Instagram photos or make content, this is a really dope thing to have. It doesn't come with a water cooler yet, but there is a company called Penguin Cooler and you can still buy that DIY water cooler to plug into it. And this is another way to have the actual tub, have the cooler, and then find a way to get the water clean. It's a bit more expensive. But yeah, it's like 1200 bucks. I was gonna say, worth every penny. But uh... <laughs> but it does level up in terms of, okay, now you have a company that's gonna back this product by warranty. If something goes wrong, they'll replace it. I had one ice barrel that was leaking and they instantly shipped me a new one. So anytime you're investing a little bit more money in a higher end product, you're getting your time back in terms of dealing with these little issues. Now the last section is a fully fledged ice bath that does everything for you. You pay as much money as you want and you don't have to worry about anything. I would say there are four great options in this category. My favorite is the edge tub. This uses an inflatable tub that allows you to kind of transport it. It has a whole water cooler and cleaning unit next to it. So it's really two massive pieces. You can take this with you almost anywhere if you're trying to move it around your house or if you live in an apartment with a small balcony, probably the best one because it takes up so much less space. You fill it up with water and the unit will take care of making sure that it's cold. And now you have a consistent ice bath that you can use as well as a company that's gonna back that product for you. Use code Shervin if you plan to buy one. The next level up from there is the plunge. This device, they have multiple sizes 
sizes. So if you're a relatively large human and you want something even bigger, you can get the Plunge XL. I've tested this at like commercial places and it looks like a high quality tub. It uses a water cooler next to the unit and then you have this really fancy looking tub. It just looks sleek, it looks sexy. If you want something that looks nice in your backyard, has a modern aesthetic, this is a great device because not only does it work really well, it looks really nice too. And you're paying for that premium. But once again, you have a company backing it and you can get a warranty, you can get extra long plans. So if you're trying to buy back that time of having to worry about, hey, does the water cooler break? Or if the water gets really dirty and it's not staying clean, you know that they're gonna provide the tools to be able to easily swap things out. Now, if you like, these ones are way too cheap for me. I want the best of the best of the best. My friend Kyle Got Camera has tried something called Renew Therapy. They make the next level cold plunge is like $10,000 plus category of its own. If you're looking for something that just like feels like it's a part of your home, this is the thing to go with. It even has a little like breath work deck. It's like next level. And the last one is an actual pool. So if you have a place in your home and you want to put a pool in the backyard, kind of like Tony Robbins does, that's probably the best of the best because now everything is built in, it's hidden, but then you do need to hire someone to make sure that they're maintaining the pool and that someone's cleaning the pool. But overall, that's probably the highest end. We have one of those at my gym. So what's really nice is I can go to the gym and I know 99.9% .9 of the time that cold plunge is going to work. It's in the ground. It's big. It fits like four or five of us and it's always working at peak capacity. Out of all these options, I've tried most of them. And the biggest thing that I've learned is first, you need to make sure that you're getting consistent with using an ice bath. Because a lot of us will just buy something. We'll be like, yeah, I'm going to do ice baths. It's good for me. And you do it once, you do it twice, and then you never do it again. I'll be honest with you. I built that chest freezer and I probably have used it 15 times. So what I recommend is if you're first getting into ice baths, find the easiest option. Go buy ice, fill up your bathtub. And if it gets to the point where you are spending so much money on ice, then it becomes time to invest in a water cooler. Get the momentum and the habit built, then start to invest in higher tiers. I would recommend starting with a DIY option. It might last you maybe six months to a year, depending on how often that you use it. Once that breaks down, go buy one that's a higher end option. Then you'll have full faith and trust that you are going to consistently use this product. I think ice baths are great for athletes, entrepreneurs, anyone just trying to achieve peak performance. I'm a big fan. I usually do it 12 hours after working out or in the morning right after I wake up. Go watch how to build your own do-it-yourself chest freezer video right here and the edge tub review right here. Don't forget to use code Shervin in my links below for all the products to help support the channel. Peace.